So these Bear Dynamics 770 Pros are closed back German made headphones and I'm going to go ahead and unbox these for you and show you what's inside and tell you a little bit more about them. So let's go ahead and open them up for you guys. So inside the box you have a carrying pouch for your headphones so when you travel you can put them in here. And here it is right here is just a standard nylon drawstring bag. It does have a place for you to put your name and address just in case they get lost for example. They can get returned to you. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the headphones themselves. And here are the Bear Dynamic DT7070 Pro. Now before we move forward when talking about these headphones, I do want to mention that this particular headphone comes in four different versions. It comes in the 16 ohm, 32 ohm, 80 ohm, and 250 ohm. And those numbers are the different impedance for each particular headphone. Impedance indicates how much power is required for the driver to function. That means that the higher the impedance, the more power is required to get the maximum volume of sounds out of the driver. So for example, the 250 ohm version of this headphone running off of a mobile smartphone is not going to work too well because it's going to sound very, very low. Now the particular version of the headphones I got are the 80 ohm and I will be talking about why I picked this version in just a bit. So which particular version of the headphone you end getting is going to depend on your use case for the headphones. So I'll be talking about that and more so make sure to watch this entire video. But first, let me go over some of the things of this headphone is general to all four versions of the headphone such as the build quality. So as I mentioned before these are German made headphones and have great build quality. They're really meant to last a long time. So first off let's start at the top with this protein leather headband here. So this is a really soft headband right here and as time goes by this is going to flatten out but the great thing as you can see here it's removable and you can easily replace it yourself which is make these headphones really great and that they have some user replaceable parts. Now these headphones also have a good amount of swivel so no matter how they're placed on your head they're going to be a very comfortable fit especially with these Velour ear pads. I've used them quite a bit on my other headphones such as the DT990 Pros as well as the higher end DT1990 Pros. And with these ear pads it's going to prevent your ears from warming up too much and it's going to be very comfortable for long periods of time so if you're on a long gaming session it's going to work perfect for you. Now the yokes here and the headband are made out of metal. There are some plastic parts as you see right here and a reminder that these are closed back so you're not going to hear that ambient sound from the outside which makes these great for music listening, gaming and even studio use. Now one thing I do want to mention is that these headphones come with an attached cable. You cannot detach it from the headphones. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. And the 80 ohm version of these headphones comes with a straight 10 foot cable which makes them perfect for studio use. As far as the headphone plug it does come with a 6.3 millimeter adapter and it also comes built in with a 3.5 millimeter. Now the fact that the audio cable is just hooked up to one of the ear cups and not both makes it so that it doesn't get in the way a lot such as other headphones that have two wires coming out of it. As far as weight, these are very light headphones. You're really not going to feel these headphones at all on your head. They're very similar to my very first headphones, the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros, which are open back. Those are light as well. These are just as light. The only difference is that these are closed back. Now the headphones do have some clamping force, but not too much. Okay, so now let's talk about which specific version you should get of the DT770 Pros. So again, it's all going to depend on how you're going to use them. So if you're going to use these headphones on Xbox, PS4, or on a smartphone, those devices don't give out too much power on their output. So therefore, you're going to want to get the 16 ohm version to get the proper volume levels of sound that you're going to need for your games or your smartphone use. Now the next one up from the 16 ohm version is the 32 ohm version. Now you can use the 32 ohm version with mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones as well. So if you do most of your music listening and gaming on an iPad, you're going to want to get the 32 ohm version of the headphones. Now we have the 80 ohm version which is the ones I have here in front of me and these are great for PCs, laptops and when you're using a USB DAC device such as the AudioQuest Dragonfly Red or the iFi Hip DAC that's going to give you that little bit of extra power that's going to make the headphones sound great. Finally we have the 250 ohm version. Those are really meant to be used for audiophile and studio equipment such as using a headphone amplifier like the THX AAA 789 headphone amplifier. So if you already have the proper audio file equipment then you can get the 250 ohm and you're going to have all the power you need. There are also some other subtle differences between the different impedance versions of these headphones. So with the 32 ohm black version of these headphones they do come with protein leather ear pads instead of these velour ear pads so just one thing to note there. 
that you're not gonna get the comfort of the velour with that particular version of the headphones. All the other versions of the headphones do come with the velour ear pads. Now, when it comes to the audio cable here, with the 16, 32, and 80 ohm, you have a straight cable as you see right here. But the 250 ohm headphones do come with a coiled cable such as this one on my DT990 Pros. Now, as far as the cable length, the 16 and 32 ohm versions come with a six foot cable, whereas the 80 and 250 ohm come with a 10 foot cable. All right, now I'm gonna spend some time listening to some music and doing some gaming on the DT770 Pros, and I'll be right back with my first impressions. I've actually had quite a bit of time to spend with the DT770 Pros, and now I feel comfortable giving you guys my full review of them. So the thing that stands out the most about the 770 Pros to me is the excellent vocals in the mid-range. So the mid-range frequencies on these headphones are excellent. So that means if you deal with vocals a lot, then these are the headphones to get. Not only that, since they're closed back to give you good isolation, they're also very light and you're not gonna feel them on your head even for hours after wearing them. So if you're the type of person that likes listening to podcasts or just listening to YouTube videos, stuff like that, where people are speaking a lot and you wanna hear a nice clear voice, these are definitely the ones to get. I was very surprised at this price range, how excellent the vocal reproduction was on this. Now, while these headphones reproduce the mid range really well, I found that the treble and the bass are really in the neutral range. So that means that you're not gonna get that big rumbly bass that you do with other headphones. So you're expecting that with these headphones, you're not gonna get that. So you're planning to get some headphones for gaming, for example, these headphones would be good for competitive games such as Fortnite, Warzone, where you really need to hear those footsteps and you need to be able to hear your teammates clearly. Because the bass and the treble are neutral on these, vocals do not get drowned out by the other frequencies. So these headphones are excellent for listening to your team and hearing sound around corners for enemies that are nearby trying to come at you. Now, if you find yourself playing single player campaign games a lot, such as Black Ops, campaign or even cyberpunk 2077 i do recommend that you get the dt990 pros instead that's going to give you that nice bass and rumbly sound you can hear all the explosions it's going to sound really immersive because the dt77 pros are more neutral sounding except for the mid-range so for that scenario definitely go with the dt990 pros instead now I did mention earlier that the impedance you get with these headphones is very important. So I actually tried out these 80 ohm 770 Pros with my different devices. And this is what I found with my PC and my MacBook Pro. It sounded just fine. There was plenty of volume and I didn't find any problems with the sound being too low. Now on my iPad, however, I could have used a little bit more volume. So I really recommend that you get the 32 ohm version of these headphones for a tablet such as the iPad. Now, when I tried these headphones with my iPhone, I found that the volume was too low and I really wanted to be able to increase the volume, but I couldn't. So if you're gonna get headphones primarily to use with a smartphone, I recommend getting at least a 32 ohm, if not the 16 ohm version of these headphones. When I tried the 770 Pros with my gaming consoles, a PS4 and a PS5 by connecting it to the bottom of the controller, I found that the volume was not quite loud enough for a lot of games. Now, if you're planning to get these headphones primarily to be used with a gaming console, such as a PS4, or PS5, I really recommend that you get the 16 ohm version as that's not gonna require as much power to drive the headphones because the audio output coming out of the controller here is not very strong at all. So that's just my two cents when it comes to picking out which impedance to get for these headphones. Of course, if you have an audio file system, go for either the 80 ohm or the 250 ohm, you'll be just fine with either one of those. So I would say that these headphones are definitely a great investment. Now, if you're gonna do stuff like audio editing, if you edit YouTube videos like I do, I found that these were excellent for that. Vocals sounded very, very clear with these headphones, probably the best sounding headphones for vocals that I've come across. So same thing if you're a podcaster or streamer, these are definitely a good pick for you guys. I mean, what more can I say about these headphones? They come at a good price. They're well built. They have user replaceable parts, such as this headband can be replaced. The ear pads can also be easily taken out and replaced as well. And these are probably the most lightweight closed back headphones that I have ever tried on. You literally forget that they're on your head. So whether you're a competitive gamer, a podcaster, or even work in a studio where you have to monitor vocal audio really well, 
these work excellent for you. I do want to end this video by saying that if you do plan to use these headphones for music, I actually didn't like these too much for music as I did the DT990 Pros. If you're gonna buy headphones for music, I really recommend that you go with the DT990 Pros. They don't have as much of that flat, neutral, treble and bass that the DT770 Pros. And I would say that I enjoyed my music more with the DT990 Pros than with the 770 Pros. But if you like your music to have a much flatter signature, then these might be for you. For me, I really like the DT990 Pros and that they extended the bass quite a bit more than the DT770 Pros. Okay, I hope my video helped in your buying decision and I will see you in the next one.